Alrighty, so today we're going over a quick list of details, secrets, and tricks in Far Cry 2 that were never really that obvious, but I managed to either discover early on or found out with the help of the Far Cry 2 community. Now there are other videos that kind of do this, like 10 awesome details in Far Cry 2. I'm going to try and avoid going over the same things that those videos have done, but if I have, then I apologize. This one comes courtesy of Anonymous, who commented on my Is Stealth Viable in Far Cry 2 video, links in the description. When getting into a vehicle at night, your character starts up the car and the headlights turn on. But if you want to be more stealthy during your night drive, you can actually turn off your headlights by pressing the button that swaps your throwables. I cannot believe I didn't know about this until 2021. Okay, so there's a couple of interesting things you can do with RPGs in this game. But one thing that you can do when fighting against them is you can actually shoot the rockets out of the air. It's not really the most practical solution for dealing with them, as I would generally recommend just shooting the guy holding the RPG before he fires it. Not to mention that if you fail to shoot it down within, I don't know, uh, two to three seconds, that rocket's probably going to reach you before you can run away. But it's an interesting attention to detail that's most appreciated. So in all my years of playing Far Cry 2, I never discovered the simple fact that you could stick IEDs on surfaces. I only ever threw them on the ground and waited for the convoys to drive over them before blowing them up. Then Berkius Troniak commented on my stealth video as well, and while explaining his favorite loadout, mentioned that he liked using IEDs, and when I asked why, he mentioned that you can actually stick IEDs on movable objects and safely move them around ceasefire zones. If you, say, stick an IED on a drum barrel, you can push it around ceasefire zones and no one will shoot at you, no one will know what you're up to, <laughs> no one will care. I have to admit, my mind was blown. It's probably no big secret that you can actually acquire extra buddies in this game, and one way to do that in the first zone of the game is actually by going to all the non-mission base areas around Paula, like Fresh Fish, or a cockfight, and unlock the locked rooms in each area. However, one thing that I thought was interesting was that in the second half of the game, you can also bust your friend out of prison when both of you get locked up, following your third encounter with the jackal. Doing so actually raises your reputation as well. I have to admit, uh, I actually, I, during my first couple of playthroughs of Far Cry 2, I always abandoned my buddy. I didn't have, I didn't have any clue that you could actually bust him out of prison. So I basically just left him there to die, I guess. I discovered Kukurigi's channel sometime this year in 2021, and some of their videos have been really eye-opening to me as a Far Cry 2 fan. The discovery that was most interesting to me was the fact that the Mac-10 essentially functions like a silent weapon. If you shoot it into the air while no one's looking at you, and your guards, those guards won't notice. This one comes courtesy of openworldgames.org from a user named Fragger. If Polytechnic, one of the base areas of the second half of the game, is giving you trouble, there's actually a ledge you can climb towards the back that you can climb to get to a large piece of high ground. It gives you a lot of angles to peek into Polytechnic with lots of cover. Perfect for snipers. Really quickly, before we get on with the rest of this video, I really want to say that coming up soon, I'm going to have a video called A Deep Dive into Far Cry 2, well, name pending, and I'm going to get into as much detail as I can about Far Cry 2's themes and gameplay. So if you want to see those videos and keep up to date with that, uh, please subscribe. I'm going to try and get my sub rate a little bit more higher this month, and so, you know, if you want to sub, thanks a lot. And if you don't, hey, no hard feelings, I totally understand. There's a few systems in Far Cry 2 that I never felt like I fully understood, such as the reputation system. I did notice that the higher your reputation is, the more scared the soldiers are of you. But one thing I also noticed with high reputation is that Father Malia and Dr. Obua both start to regard you with some disdain. If you approach Father Malia with low reputation, he seems to think you're a good man with a good soul. Approach him with high reputation, however, and he thinks you're the devil's apprentice. When you visit the doctor at low reputation, he apologizes for not having any medicine for your malaria, but with a higher reputation, he hints that if it weren't for the Hippocratic Oath, he probably wouldn't help you. 
Anyway, that's all the secrets and tricks that I have for Far Cry 2 that I know. If you guys know any more, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to read them. Anyway, yeah, see you guys next time for the next video coming up, a deep dive into Far Cry 2, starting with its themes.